hey guys, here is a rather beautiful animal cell for you, the structure of it and the function of all the different parts. If you want a hard copy of this to write on so you don't have to draw the picture out for yourself, pop over to my website and you get my free revision guide, it's in there. Here is our animal cell, a rather beautiful one and not drawn by me, I would quickly, quickly point out. Here in the middle is our nucleus. And our nucleus holds all of the DNA. This is going to be in chromosomes. And this bit is important for um, storing all the genetic information, um, all the bits of coding that we need to, to make a cell to be able to get the cell and bodies to do what we need them to do. On the outside, we have our cell membrane. This is responsible for controlling what goes in and out of a cell. This is different to a plant which has a cell membrane and a cell wall. An animal cell just has a cell membrane. The yellow stuff here we have our cytoplasm and this is where most of the reactions take place. So any enzyme reactions, um, turning um, one thing into another thing that's going to take place in the cytoplasm. Then these beautiful little pink blobby things are going to be the mitochondria. Um, that is where respiration takes place. And that produces energy. These tiny little black blobs here are the ribosomes. That is where we are going to have um, proteins being made. Now that is basics what you need to know for GCSE. There are some few other structures in here. I'm just going to explain those to you as well, partly because um, they're on the diagram. Um, and I don't want you to have see things on the diagram um, and have me not explain them and you'd be worried that I haven't explained something that you need to know. Um, partly because if you're going on to do A-level or if you're an A-level student watching this video, you need to know these bits anyway. Um, and partly because the examiners might just be mean and ask these as extensions. So everything on here at the moment is the basics that you need for GCSE. The extra stuff is extension work, if you like. This bit down here is a centriole. Um, this part, um, there are two of them, they separate out and when uh, the cell divides by mitosis, these form the poles of the spindle. So they form these bits here when the um, cell divides by mitosis. But they are always present in the cell. This bit here is the smooth ER. That is the endoplasmic reticulum. And this and the rough ER, um, which is the other one I'm about to point out, are responsible for transport. Um, it's getting a bit complicated now. This one here, which looks like the smooth ER, but has ribosomes dotted all around the outside, is the rough endoplasmic. That's the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Um, again, like the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, this is responsible for transporting um, newly made proteins, newly made enzymes all around the cell and doing lots and lots of different things. This, uh, let me just bring this one down here. This is the Golgi. And this is responsible for 
making lots of things. So um, making uh, carbohydrates, um, making proteins, packaging proteins. There we go guys, remember you don't need to know all of this for GCSE, um, I just really like this picture so I'm using it um, and it's a good extension for you if you want to make sure you're getting those top, top grades.